Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today, yet again, another zero day flaw in the Windows operating system. Now, this particular flaw affects Windows versions from 2018 onwards, so if you're running Windows 10, 1809, or higher, then unfortunately, this potentially could be affecting you. Also, if you're running the new Windows 11 operating system, yep, sadly, you're caught up in the mix again. So this actual flaw is related to the registry and basically getting elevated privileges from various parts of the registry and mostly the actual hashed password files which are hidden in the registry in the system folder. So potentially this could be quite nasty if it was that some person actually got into your system, managed to uh, decrypt all of those hashed passwords. Yeah, it isn't a good thing. So Microsoft have actually issued some guidance on it and our good friends over at Bleeping Computer have actually done a little piece on it as well. So we'll go through, take a look at that, then we'll go through and do the practical steps of how to actually remedy this and uh, get things sorted. So as I've said in the intro, this does affect the kind of like the high files, the registry files and those hashed passwords that are saved. So if you're actually in Windows itself and you're using the PC and someone hasn't got direct access, then mostly if you try to access those kind of system files, you won't be allowed to because they're actually in use by Windows, which makes a ton of sense. So you'd get a prevention measure. But if someone managed to get into your system restore files where those files are available and in the shadow volume copy, essentially they're gonna be exactly the same as what is in your main Windows file. They're a shadow copy of them. So what Microsoft are effectively recommending is firstly to remove access or unelevated access to that particular folder. And also they're advising to shut down system restore and delete any existing restore points. Now, obviously for some of you, if you take your backup seriously, you probably don't use system restore as your primary tool. Uh, I would certainly recommend using something like Macrium. We've done videos on that, which you can check out up here. Very, very easy to back up or obviously Get yourself a decent NAS, that ultimately is the way forward. Again, we've done plenty of videos on those which you're more than welcome to check out and get some ideas. So I personally use a combination of Macrium um, and then use that to actually send files to my NAS. But some people will be using System Restore, others will be using it and completely unaware that it's actually running in the background. So for all of you with Windows 1809 or higher, this is what we're gonna have to do. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, this is on Windows 11, as you can probably guess already. So we're gonna to wanna to go into System Restore. Now there's various ways you can actually go in to get to System Restore. Ideally, um, if you go into Create a Restore Point or any of those kind of System Restore things. So if you just type in here, System and Restore. If I could spell, that'd be great. Uh, you can go into things like Recovery, Recovery Options, all that kind of stuff. But we'll go into Create a Restore Point. So this will bring up the system properties box, as you can see here, and you've got system restore options, etc. As you can see currently on this machine, protection is on, which basically means actually, in fact, it isn't protected at the moment, which is a bad thing. So we want to change that. If you've got multiple drives on your system, you will find there is multiple entries on here and you will need to go through individual ones. Now, obviously, if you've got a D drive and an E drive and those have got your games on or your own personal documents, then they won't contain the files that are actually at risk. It's only gonna be on your main system C drive. So whether or not you wanna keep on backing up the other drives, that is again, entirely up to you, but we're gonna take it as the point we're gonna disable system restore. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna click on configure. And this is the system protection for local disk C. And as you can see in the radio buttons here, currently system protection is turned on. So what we wanna do is first of all, we're gonna click on delete down here. So delete all restore points for this drive. So click delete and it will come up with this information. You will not be able to undo unwanted system changes in this drive. Are you sure you want to continue? Sadly, yes, um, we are going to have to do this, but like I said, you can install things like Macrium or just uh, back up to your NAS, however you want to do it. But yeah, there will be more information on that in the coming days. So click on continue and it will delete the restore points that you've got on your system. As you can see now, current usage has dropped down to zero bytes. So the next thing to do is to basically just disable system protection and hit apply. And again, it's going to come up with the same sort of thing here. So yeah, we're just going to click yes. Don't really have a lot of choice at the moment. Make sure that's done. And there we go. System protection or system restore is effectively off. So that is going to prevent anyone from using those volume shadows. 
So we can close this down now. So the next thing to do is actually like kill off the service itself. So if we go into bleeping computer here, this is the actual post that was on the, uh, the website today. And I'll put the link in the video description so you can check out if you want to in more detail. But essentially it talks about what has happened. It affects Windows 10 versions released since 2018, etc. And Microsoft effectively don't have uh, an answer for it other than for us to do a particular thing. So obviously they do say restrict access to the contents of the Windows System32 config, which we'll do shortly. It does say there, open command prompt or Windows PowerShell as an administrator. This doesn't actually work in PowerShell, so just a, a quick heads up there. If you try and do it in PowerShell, you will get an error message. So I would do it via a command prompt with the administrator privileges. And delete the volume shadow copy service. Uh, we've already gone ahead and done that as we've seen already. So what we're gonna do is copy and paste this bit here. Again, this will be in our video description as well, so you can copy and paste it from there if you wish to. I choose copy, and then we're gonna wanna open up a command prompt. So type in CMD and you've got your command prompt, right click on it and choose run as administrator. And you'll get the user account control thing come up. So click on yes. And then in the system 32 bit there, just right click or choose control V, paste. And it's iCal's Winder system 32 config star dot star inheritance colon E and hit enter. Shouldn't take very long at all. It should process around about 70 odd files and you can see it's gone through and made the changes there. Just look at the bottom just to make sure that um, there's no failures. If it, sells, if it says failed processing a file, then you might want to do a system restart. After you've done this once, do it again and go in and you should find that there's zero processing errors. Sometimes where the files are actually in use or being processed elsewhere. So that essentially is it. It's really straightforward, easy to do. And unfortunately it is a necessity at the moment. So there we go, pretty straightforward, as long as you can uh, copy and paste and follow some instructions, you should be absolutely fine. Again, this is one of those things, it's a zero day flaw, so there isn't any kind of protection for it out there at the moment. Windows update may take a while, and even if it does, very much like the print nightmare that we had recently, which is still kind of ongoing, yeah, it's, uh, it's not a great thing. Microsoft are having a pretty bad time of it at the moment with all these uh, unpatched and kind of user privilege level attacks, so. We will do our best to keep you guys informed and let you know what is going on and try and keep you all protected. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to give the video a like. And also if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, then hit that subscribe button and the channel icon and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you guys in the very next video. Thanks for watching.